I guess it all starts off with uh, probably my father first. He basically said, you can do anything that you want to do. Just go and get it. He gave us sticks. We went out to the playgrounds. We went to the arena and uh, played. Windsor Minor Lacrosse was uh, first and foremost. Uh, that's where I started my lacrosse. Um, that program started to thrive as, as I was a uh, uh, 13 year old and, and that was the biggest opportunity because that got me uh, involved in it. The junior team of uh, 1975 um, of winning that Canadian championship with all of these guys that I've played a number of years with, we really put it together that year and so that whole scenario of uh, going to Edmonton, uh, bonding with this group of guys and and finishing the deal and, and winning that first Canadian championship was was just amazing. Well the Windsor Warlocks and the Windsor Clippers uh, back in that late 60s early 70s um, really became uh, a spectacle as far as Windsor was concerned. I was playing junior at the time for the, the junior team and uh, the Warlocks brought me up uh, when I was 15 years old to, to play with the men's team, which then gave me the opportunity to go away to school. My brother Wayne and myself were prepared to go to Hobart, which was in Division Three at the time. And Coach Buddy Beardmore from Maryland contacted uh, me at the house and said, well son, you can go to Hobart or you can come to Maryland and play with the men. I've read about Marilyn in, in Sports Illustrated over the years and got to meet some of those uh, uh, iconic heroes from Maryland and um, it was pretty much a done deal. We just decided to go. To see us get some recognition, not just as Martinelles, but as lacrosse players for the Windsor-Essex County Hall of Fame, I think is a, is a real positive thing. Lacrosse has been in this uh, community for a long, long time and uh, to, to finally get uh, a couple of cross players put in there and it, it to be uh, myself and my brother is just a great honor.